Hey guys, <laughs> keep off the grass. You remember those signs that we used to read as we were walking on the side of the road? This is some sod we planted not too long ago. And uh, you know, I remember as a kid, we used to see these signs, do not walk on the grass. And uh, you know, for some reason, um, we didn't just walk on the grass. We uh, we ran through the lawn, and and so we made sure we crossed through there every day, um, going to school and coming back home from school. Now we weren't rebellious kids, well, maybe a little bit. Today's teaching is, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a key verse today. Um, 1 Corinthians 15:56. What's my point? Um, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. And I wanted to explain what that meant. The Apostle Paul is writing to the church at Corinth, um, believers in Christ there. As we are Gentile Christians in Christ, they were as well. So this applies to our life as well. Um, what he's saying here is if, uh, if you adding law to the Christian uh, that is saved by grace through faith, that lives in a new covenant time, in, under the new covenant now, what happens is when you add laws or rules to a Christian, it's like adding, adding fuel to sin's engine, to sin. And so it actually uh, will stimulate a desire to do the very thing um, that we don't want to do, or, the, or which the law says, don't do this, don't walk on the grass, you know, for instance. And what we'll do is if we get that law, what it'll do is it'll fuel sin's engine to want to walk on the grass. And that's what it was doing when we were kids, when we saw the laws. And so that's what law does here. Um, so as believers in Christ, um, Paul in Galatians uh, 5.18, he says those who are led by the Spirit are no longer under the law. And so that's what we kind of want to talk about today. Um, so remember, adding law to the Christian to a Christian is like adding gas to sin, to sin's engine in the believer. Um, Romans six one, the Apostle Paul says, "What shall we say? This though, um, shall we continue on sinning, so grace may increase? By no means." And so, what he's saying there is, you know, um, no, it's it's not it's not right for us to rebel and do what the law says, you know. We, we, we have to have laws and guidelines in, in this world. We all know that. But uh, what we're talking about here is um, the Old Covenant and, and adding that to the New Covenant. So we live in a New Covenant time. And it's through faith in Jesus Christ. We are loved by our Heavenly Father. And so, but um, now God's love is what's going to lead people to repentance. When we understand that God loves us unconditionally, He accepts us, we're always in right standing because of the obedience of the one man, Jesus Christ, and through faith in Him, what we're going to discover is that's going to be the catalyst for change in the believer's life. Um, and so legalism is a system, and it says, if you obey, then God will love you. New covenant is where we live, and it says, you know, God loves us and accepts us and sees us in right standing now because of the obedience of His Son, Jesus Christ. And through faith in Him, we are always in right standing. Um, so what we do now as believers, you know, obedience is, is not a, a topic really spoke of much, but obedience is where we understand that we are the branches and we are in Christ. And as we draw life from that life that is in us already as branches, we're going to trust Christ to live his life through us, through faith. And so that's uh, been quality of life. Um, we uh, want to thank you for this time. You are the most important person here. And remember, we, uh, we learn so we can teach. We teach so we can learn. Um, remember, this grace walk, um, as we walk in grace under this new covenant, we're always clean because Jesus took all of our sins. We're always in right standing with our Heavenly Father because now in Christ we are in right standing in His sight. We have been given the right to be called His children through faith in Jesus Christ. And we're given the Holy Spirit to renew our minds to this truth so we can be transformed. And 
now as we look to the spirit within us to lead and guide us to do what's right, pure, and true, we just want to give Christ all the glory for, the, for what he does through us now. Thank you, and God bless.